CES coverage sponsored by Audible.com, where books come alive. Listen to a bestseller on your iPod or MP3 and get a free trial at audiopodcast.com forward slash CES. Continuing coverage of the Consumer Electronics Show 2011, Jeffrey Powers with Geekazine and the Tech Podcast Network. We're here with Upton from a company called Vistion. Now, Vistion, we, we, we talk about all these new devices and how we got these cool touch screens and they got these new cool swipe displays. And a lot of people say, what happened to the tactile feel? I want to turn a knob. I want to push a button. Well, that's what Vistion does is they work with technology to try and merge all the tactile feel with all the touch screen feel and maybe even find a way to work it in between so we've got Upton here and he's going to tell us tell us a little bit about how what you guys do in a normal day uh, of production so uh, in a normal day of production we actually try and understand the elements that generate a craftsmanship feel in all the elements in a, in a cockpit in a vehicle so for instance starting with the very basic switches and knobs um, we have an example here. We actually do quite a bit of consumer research, so we want to understand, we put these elements in front of customers, so we, we want to understand how this knob compares to this knob in terms of feel and touch and tactile response, um, so that, that when we design a cockpit in a vehicle, uh, it has a durable, solid craftsmanship feel that when the when the user grabs the knobs and, and turns, that whether it's switches, buttons, rotary encoders, any of those type of elements. So. The traditional mechanical components um, are still very much a part of, of vehicles uh, and we're, we're trying to design those so that they have a, a robust durable feel more more than just vehicles we're talking things like uh, we're talking things like appliances in the home we're talking cars uh, outside we're talking whatever whatever you have to do to, to work with a user interface correct? So the elements of craftsmanship apply to to any any component you touch I mean there's el there's things that you grab in your home that you just know have a solid durable feel and so that's why we do these um, the, these blind blind uh, tests with uh, with knobs and buttons and switches and that type of thing, so that we can really understand what drives craftsmanship in, in an automotive environment. Okay. Now you have a dashboard back yep. here, and uh, this this is kind of a part of of uh, the whole experience. In this case, there's a, it looks like there's no buttons, there's no real tactile feel. It's all push screen. But there's a little bit more to that than that, correct? Absolutely. So, um, for instance, this is what we call a piano black finish. It, it looks like a smooth um, a, a finish. And uh, however, when you touch and slide along these elements, the entire panel actually has a, a motion and a tactile feedback to it. So when the finger touches it, it actually gives a thump back at you. Additionally, we've built in uh, some very cool features called gesture recognition. So um, as I move from zone to zone, I can actually swipe my hand and I'm able to, to, to move from screen to screen or I can actually input a command by swiping up. So the cool thing is you don't actually, as a driver, uh, it reduces driver distraction because now you don't actually have to, have to look down, find a specific button. Um, and, and then press that button. Now you just swipe your hand in the in the zone, and you change from menu to menu, or to enter a command. You swipe up. So it's a pretty pretty interesting concept, uh, and and it helps minimize driver distraction. Yeah. So uh, so the tactile feel of buttons, the touch screen ability that actually gives you response, and and just the fact that you can. Yep. Uh, the tactile Glaze feedback over. Is, is great because it helps you with uh, with no look operation. Again, it's one of those things when you push a mechanical button in the vehicle, you know something's happened because that button moves. But when you get into a touch screen, you know that's the whole point behind the tactile feedback is actually having some sort of response so that you know that a uh, command's been entered and something's happened. Okay. Now, what do you got right there? Okay, so this is an alternative to um, traditional buttons and knobs in that um, we can create a... Um, a switch panel out of any material, whether it's metal or wood or anything else, and then we use some sensing technology that um, detects finger position, and you can do rotations, you can do do traditional um, uh, button entries, but it all is done out of a solid solid uh, mechanical surface. So again, there's no moving parts, so it's very inexpensive, very easy to do. It's also sealed, environmentally sealed, which is nice in, in the case of somebody spilling a coffee in their vehicle or anything else. So it's kind of an interesting concept, and as opposed to having plastics and, and other, other materials, you can actually have real metals and real woods, and again, enhance the feeling of craftsmanship in the, in the automotive cockpit. Perfect. Now we got one more piece right here. We're going to do a quick switch here. Tell us a little bit about this device right here. Okay, so this is what we call... I'll have you come over, step over here. Okay. This is what we call the haptic simulator kiosk, 
and essentially what it does is it allows us to use this as a tool to to develop the tactile feedback response. So if you think about, um, as, as I touch these buttons, they're not just traditional screens. There's actually a um, rotating actuator behind it or a linear actuator that shakes the entire surface. And when we input a waveform to that device, it actually creates a certain feel. So you can create sharp clicks and pops and, and thumps and other, other characteristics to simulate buttons being pressed, or actual physical buttons. This is actually a tool that, w that we sell that allows you to create those waveforms as a as an end user to create custom waveforms and make your buttons feel uh, have have a unique feel. And this is a device that that uh, a, a manufacturer would would purchase. Like a design studio would purchase yeah. this and and use this to create um, the, the the feels and the effects on their touchscreens in in future production vehicles. And once again, it's not just car manufacturers. If you've got a refrigerator, yep. if you've got a uh, if you've got a remote control, if you've Anybody got a using a touchscreen could uh, could effectively use a tool like this to to develop custom feels. Okay, this is all great technology. Being able to feel and experience what you do, that, that sense that, that we seem to be getting away from is now we're, we're now learning how to bring that back and that's all what Visteon does here. Um, where can people go to get more information about your guys' company? Um, you can go to uh, www.visteon.com. Um, we're available on the, on the web and um, be happy to talk to you. All right. Upton, thank you very much for your time. For, your time. for the Tech Podcast Network, this is Jeffrey Powers.